evening. It is wonderful to see so many of you here tonight. And it's good to see that so many people are still interested in history and perhaps even believe that understanding our history is relevant to understanding some of our contemporary dilemmas. I very much want to thank the Kepler Lecture Committee for inviting me. I want to thank Dean Adele Lindemeyer for being here and also Professor Paul Rogier and Mark Alicki of the History Department for having invited me to join you here tonight. A very special thanks, of course, goes to the Kepler family for having initiated these regular conversations on history and the contemporary relevance of history. At a time when our historical memory seems to stretch all too often just to the previous year, or perhaps just back a few, a few days, and at a time when the humanities have been under sustained criticism for being irrelevant to our modern life, it is good to know that there are people who continue to believe that what happened in the past mattered and that we should try to come to terms with that history. And it is also good to know that there are people who understand that our way to come to terms with the past has a great impact on our world today. <laughs> Laura Kepper wanted to improve the public's understanding of how the past shapes our world today, a project I would argue that has never been more urgent than it is in our day. Our conversations on some of the most pressing issues of the present are all too often impoverished by our inability to come to terms with the past. I fear that Laura Kepper would agree that our ability to shape the future very much depends on our willingness to confront and understand the past. Thank you to Horace Kepler and his family for keeping this conversation.